Hey everyone, John here with All Miniatures Great and Small, and uh, today we have Jacob and Jake in the studio, and we're going to be continuing our D-Day anniversary coverage. Um, this time it's going to be Panzer Lair versus uh, 3rd U.S. Uh, Armored Division. So Jake's going to be running a light tank uh, company, and uh, Jacob has uh, mechanized infantry, yep. Panzer Grenadiers. So we're going to go ahead and do army introductions and look at the board in just a minute. But before then, let's see. Do you have any predictions, Jake? I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> How about you, Jacob? Going to crush the Allied Invader. Oh, crush the <laughs> Allied Invader. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're going to go ahead and roll off our mission, uh, show off the armies, and be back in just a moment. All right. This is my Panzer Grenadier uh, Lair Company. So let's kind of go um, <clears throat> uh, platoon by platoon. So formation-wise, core formation. I have an HQ Panzer Lair uh, company with the company HQ, 2IC, and then I actually have upgraded a Panzer Shrek team with his uh, half track. I have two short Panzer Lair platoons. I actually love these platoons because at the short amount, there are actually seven models per, uh, per unit. Um, so that's three half tracks, four MGs, two uh, uh, pa short Panzer Shreks, and one HQ stand. Um, so there's two of those. And then the to round out the rest of the core formation, I have two cannon platoons. Uh, that's a 7.5 centimeter. And then I also have two armored AA uh, guns right there. So with regards to support, I have a radio-controlled tank platoon, which is a Tiger 1E, so he doesn't get a uh, Tiger Ace skill. And then I have a single 88 with the uh, extra crew. And then two Pumas, one of my favorite uh, recon units. And then finally a rocket launcher, rocket launcher battery of two uh, Nebelwerfers. And that, oh sorry, and then finally four Panzer IVs. And that rounds out the Panzer Lair. Cool. And what was the point value for that? Oh, 1,500 points 1500 on the nose. On the nose. All right. On to the Americans. All right. This is a light tank company. Um, for the HQ, we have two Stuarts here. Um, for the uh, uh, first combat platoon, we have four Stuarts, followed by three Stuarts in the second combat platoon. Um, our weapons platoons are the uh, mortar half tracks in the back. We have a medium tank platoon of Shermans over here. A recon platoon of Jeeps. And um, in support, we have a para platoon on the left and a tank destroyer platoon. Um, everything is rated as confident veteran, except for the tank destroyers are rated as confident trained. And how many points is it? It is 1,500 points. All right, uh, we are deployed. Uh, just to take a quick look at the map, this is a undisclosed location somewhere on the Normandy <laughs> coast. Uh, we've got a lot of bocage, which in version 4 is just treated as uh, tall terrain. Um, it provides bulletproof cover for anyone up against it. It's a cross check to get across. Um, the mat that we're playing on is a table war mat. I think it's Grassy Plains 2 provided by them to the channel, so we're very thankful for that. This terrain is a mix of battlefront, uh, outrider hobbies, and homemade terrain. All right, so the mission is rear guard. We rolled off and the Americans are defending, so this is a German counterattack against the American spearhead. So Jake's tank company here is defending. Um, the way that this mission works is there are two objectives. One objective here, one objective there. Uh, Jake has to hold out for nine turns. His entire army is on the board except for one Hellcat platoon which is in ambush. But starting on turn two he checks to see if he has six or more platoons on the board, he has to pull one away. So his army's slowly fading away as he's trying to hold these objectives. The Germans, it's pretty straightforward. They just need to capture an objective before turn nine. So let's go over deployment. We'll start here with the Allies. Here we've got uh, uh, recon platoon, Stuarts, uh, 81 millimeter mortars, uh, M4A1 Shermans, more Stuarts, uh, airborne platoon, and then the recon section for the tank destroyers. And again, the tank destroyers are in ambush. And then on the Panzer Lair side, we have 
Uh, both half uh, both armored uh, Panzer Grenadiers, right? Uh, it's the one, one platoon plus the uh, HQ. Oh, these are the attachments. Yeah. Gotcha. And then we've got oh here's the second um, Panzer Grenadier platoon. In the building we have the Observer. <coughs> uh, we got Panzer Fours, Pumas, uh, anti-aircraft trucks, Nebelwerfers, 88, and uh, half-track cannon platoon. So Jake is waiting his attack. Where is the uh... tiger? Oh, there's the tiger. <laughs> yes, I missed the tiger. There is the tiger. So Jake's very beautiful Panzer lair. So the attackers, the Germans, have the first turn. We're going to go ahead and start with German movement, and we'll be back. I didn't hear the beep. It's, it's oh, beep. Oh, okay. Beep. <laughs> so this is the German, <clears throat> start German movement phase. I'm going to actually be blitzing uh, pretty much everything. So we're going to start with the AAA. All right. With the Pumas. Good. With the Panzer IVs, oops, they're good. With the Panzer Lair behind them, they're good. And then with the Tiger, nope. And with the Panzer Lair platoon here, yes. All right, we'll get some moving. Go. All right, so to follow up my movement orders, I am German. I can do two movement orders as long as they're not the same one. I'm going to do follow me with the Panzer IVs. So the leader of the Panzer IV platoon is going to move up four inches and take a motivation check for everyone else. And that's a four plus because you are... I'm just, just confident, yeah. Oops, no, that so was the five. other two tanks have to move four straight forward also, or forward. And they cannot shoot. Correct. All right, let's repeat that process with these Panzer Grenadiers right here. Okay. So the so commander... commander because <laughs> this is very dangerous because if you <laughs> fail it, the commander's now driven out in the open. So, motivation. Yeah, he loves it. It's also dangerous if he brings it. <laughs> <laughs> if, they fall off, if they fall off the table. On the edge of the world here. Alright. <clears throat> I'll fix that later. The tiger is going to do a uh, follow me. Luckily, he's his own command team. I don't know. I see the point rolling, but <laughs> so for this Panzer uh, Panzer Lair uh, Panzer Grenadier platoon, let's go four. Man, these are some motivated Germans. They apparently are. Look out, cow! And the Pumas. No. All right, that's it for uh, follow me's. All right. Okay, here's a just a recap of the movement phase for the Germans. Uh, everything, as you saw, moved up except for the Nebs and the 88, obviously. So they are very close to the American lines at the end of German movement. Let's go into German shooting. All right, so I'm going to try and do some smoke from my Nebel Warfers. My observer you can see right here. I can do okay. a straight line, eight inches long. And I just really need a three plus on one of these three range in attempts. Okay. And I do. Triple smoke. Nailed it. These guys are just hanging out in the fields. Little do they know. I think they know. All of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's just on the other side of that hedge. All right, so my first uh, volley is going to be my 88 firing at this single mortar uh, half track. So I got three shots. Four is base for veterans, five is for long range. Oh, he's a lucky little guy. Nothing. Yeah. All right, uh, that was the exciting German shooting phase. So that's German... Turn one, on to American turn one. What can Jake do to come back from this? Jake pops his ambush. Hello. I'm going to try to blitz the para platoon. No. Uh, blitzing the steward platoon on A3. All right, so a recap for movement. Um, the Hellcats are out. Um, failed to blitz the Stewarts, um, but they moved over still. The Shermans dashed over. Um, they weren't going to get a shot really at anything worth it, no matter what. Um, Stewarts dashed over. Jeeps ran away. Um, infantry failed to blitz, but started running that way anyway. 
And I pulled back the recon. All right, on to American shooting, turn one. All right, so I'm trying to drop an artillery bombardment right here, covering uh, these three teams. All right, so fours to hit, or fours to range in, sorry. First attempt, second attempt. All right, so uh, those are all veteran targets, so you're hitting the 88 on a four plus? Uh, five, five plus. second attempt. Yep. Hits. And you're hitting the Nebel Warfare. Same. No. And second one. Hits. Save for the Nebel Warfare. And it's four up, I believe. You're three up. It's good. Three up. And for the 88. And save. Is a save, yeah. The 88's I'm pretty four. Pretty sure it's all three up. Yeah. No, I think no, the 88's I a think heavy gun. So I think it's four yeah. up. No. Yep. That's a three up. All right, uh, the Hellcats are all shooting at the Panzer IV platoon, and we're hitting them on fives. Oh, four hits. Yep, four hits, one on each. Okay, so that's 12 versus your front armor, six. Yep. Take, we need a six to... One, two, three, four. So this one. So oh, it's firepower, two. destroyed. This one. It's firepower, pain. destroyed. And this one. Firepower. No, no bailed out. <laughs> Last one. Firepower destroyed. All right, three out of four. And one bailed out. Happened to be the platoon commander, too. Decent ambush results. Okay. All right, so these stewards are needing sevens to hit um, these half tracks right here. We're going to light up this one. And it's sevens because they failed their blitz. And uh, they have to use their stabilizers. Sixes, three oh. sixes, followed by four ups. Just one. Okay, so we go straight to firepower. I'm gonna just gonna try and swap it to this one. Okay. Three plus. Hey. You can save the armor too. The armor one, right? Yes, I am. Yeah, so roll a six. Don't mind if I do. And four up, I think. Four up firepower. Bail so up. bail that. Recap of shooting, we destroyed three Panzer IVs, bailed out one, and bailed out a half-track. Awesome, all right, and then, uh, what are you doing here? These Hellcats are gonna try to shoot and scoot, um, so needing a three plus. Uh, four plus. No. Plus. Panzer for a remount, they're a four plus base, but I get a plus one because he has protected ammo. And he does get back in. And this guy right here, you know, four plus, he does get back in. And then we'll kind of follow it up with the last stand for the uh, Panzer IVs, getting a four plus. They love it. He stays around. All right, so movement recap for the Germans. Uh, I uh, moved ahead this Panzer IV, followed up by these Pumas and uh, this entire column of Panzer Lair moved on up that side. This uh, platoon actually dismounted from their half-tracks over here, moving up towards the Hellcats, and their half-tracks have kind of sweeped around the side as well. Um, these guys have all stayed put, and then finally the cannon platoon has moved up for a couple shots at those Hellcats. See how it plays out. Starting with the All right, so the 88 is gonna fire into these Hellcats. I can only see one. It's long range and concealed, so starting at threes, fours, then fives. All right. Three dice on fives. Two hits. Yes, that's two, two firepower. Power. Straight to firepower on a three plus. One dead. Come on. All right, the cannons. I have one shot close range onto the Hellcats and one that's long range. So the clo uh, close range is just concealment, so fours. That's a hit. And the long range needing fives. That's a miss. So one hit, 89 versus your burner mark two, which you cannot stop. Yeah, so. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Firepower three plus, another Ooh, one's destroyed. another dead Hellcat. So, unless you want to swap. I should have. Given so, that. so next I have two of the armored AA firing into the Hellcats. That's four shots each, so eight shots in total, close range and concealment for fours. Got three hits. It's AT5, Jake. Oh, four hits. Yeah. So you need a three plus. So three to equal two on four each. to bounce. So this one. So one bounce, one pin. And this one. Two pins. Two. Oh no, two, two possible no, glances. Two possible. So yeah. the destroy on a five plus. 
Nope, bailed. Nope. And then the two bailed. One bailed. One bail. So two okay. bailed out. All right, so Tiger 1E taking a shot into the stewards, just needing a five, vet, and then four, plus one for concealment. Okay. Nope. You can just go ahead and down the line. The Puma's taking two shots, close range, concealment, so needing fives again. One hit. Oh, one hit. 89 for armor four. Uh, we'll go on this guy. 5D equals six to bounce. No, pen. And he's dead. Four up. Firepower? <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. That's one dead steward. All right, next up I have a Panzer IV firing into the steward, specifically that guy right there. Uh, one shot on a five. Nope. All right, so my two uh, tank hunter teams, which are half Panzer Shrek teams, are gonna fire into the stewards, specifically this guy right here. Uh, I'm normally a rate of fire one, so plus one for moving, and then another plus one for the concealment, meaning six is to hit. Not a Nothing. All right, so my Nub Warfare is going to try and, try and range in a bombardment right there. They're self-spotting, so skill level three, and there's no train under there, so need a three to range in. Got it? Uh, I am a two-gun battery, though, so I reroll hits, and under the template, I have everyone here. They're all fours to hit. Is that correct, Jake? Uh, yeah. All right, so then reroll to hit. So I've got one, two, three, four, five stewards needing fours. And I reroll successfuls. So three successful so far. So one successful. And one successful. And then here, needing a four. Nope. And then this one. Hit. No. no. So just one steward. Magic. So two. Number one. Good. And Balances. he is good. Yeah. Yeah. So <coughs> German shooting recap. <clears throat> Uh, after some heavy fire, I was able to kill two Hellcats and bail two others. And then over here, I was able to destroy one Stuart. So we'll see if we can take it from there. So a shoot, uh, shoot and scoot here. Nope. All right, so charging for the Panzer Lair. I'm going to try and take out these two bailed out Hellcats. I move four inches, and then everyone else could try and move four inches to get into base contact with someone who is already in base contact with an enemy. So now time for defensive fire, eight inches within contact, so I think I'm gonna draw in these, these stewards over here. Sounds good. It's a lot of defensive fire. All right, so uh, the assaulting are actually just gonna move these two guys up um, to avoid some defensive fire. So the swings for the tank hunter team, it's a four plus because it's a small stand, which I miss. And then the other stand, needing a three plus, is a hit. So AT2 against your top bomber at zero. Good. Bounce it. All right. All right, so make a morale check, Jake, to see if you can counterattack. Yeah. And you do not. So the Hellcats are destroyed, and you might have to fall back your uh, stewards just a little bit. You get outside of eight. Okay, just to recap this German turn, uh, the assault was successful. Uh, Jacob captured those two Hellcats. They are now destroyed. And the stewards pulled back a little bit, and the Panzer Grenadiers have consolidated. Starting American turn two, since Jake has seven platoons on the table, he needs to remove one platoon per the rule. So you're going to remove the uh, tank destroyer recon platoon, right? Yep. These guys. Since the tank destroyers are no more. They heard over the front. <laughs> <laughs> Their friends were dead. All right. So those guys are gone. Jake's down to six platoons. All right. Trying to blitz yet again. Three plus. Yay! Hey! They made it. All right, blitzing these guys on a three plus. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Never blitzed before. Okay, so the artillery is rearranging in on their spot, um, hitting those three teams. Kay. So hitting the 88 first hits. Okay. Or no, you're veteran, so it's fours. Yeah, fours. Yep. Um, hitting the Neville Warfare hits, and the other guy. Yeah, they're Neville Warfare. Oh. Yep, so both Neville Warfare are hitting. Okay, so that's three of saves, but you're re-rolling because yep. of repeat bombardment. So let's roll two for this one. The firepower check for that one, and the other one is okay. Okay. Uh, firepower check. Not no. good enough. Maybe. Right. We'll yeah. check that. I think it is, because I'm already... So 
So the firepower is a uh, four plus on the 81 millimeter mortar, so the three fails. All right, so the Stuarts are all opening up into these guys. Um, 50 cals first, we get nine 50 cal shots. Looking for fives. And you. That guy. Right. Nice, five hits. And then you've got six 30 cal shots, Jake. 30 cals. Just one. We'll assign those hits and be right back. All right, so I'm going to try and swap these hits real quick. He has a 50 cal and he has a 30 cal on the three plus. It's swapped. It, it is. Swapped. So, haha. All right, so some armor saves. So now you need infantry saves, yeah. Yep. So for this guy, he's okay. Next one down the line. Firepower from a 50 cal. Five up. Yep. Nope. This one. That's, that's really fine. cocked. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's so good. he's okay. And then this one down the line. He's okay. Now, just regular 30 cals in the back. This one. Well, he's a 30 cal, but he's still a 50. Yeah, He's still 50. Yeah, yeah it doesn't but matter. Yeah. Though, but he survived. Hit. Middle guy, hit, and the last one is a good. So right. they're, they're pinned, though. All right, eight main gun shots from the Shermans into this infantry. Looking for fives. Three hits. Try and swap this uh, uh, tank team one into this one on a three plus. Yep. Okay. So, armor save for the back guy right there on a three plus. He's okay. On this one, three plus. Firepower check with the main gun. Three. Up. Three plus. Got one. Nice. And then the other tank hunter. Firepower check. Got him too. Nice. Got two dead. Sherman's dropped two stands of Germans. All right. The Stewarts are shooting into this guy, um, splitting up our shots. So the nine fifty cal's first. So three Stewarts are firing. Yeah, okay. and the other two stewards are going to fire into that half track. Okay. So, two, two hits. And six 30 cal shots. Six 30 cals, fives, two more. Okay, well, I'll sign those hits in just a minute, but if you want to do your shots against the half tracks. Yep, so I get four shots needing sixes. Because he has to use stabilizers. No. Oh, <laughs> and it didn't matter with stabilizers yeah, it or not. Yeah, didn't matter. All right, so we'll assign those hits and be right back. All right, just a clarification here. Uh, Jake didn't pay for 50 cal, so from here on out, we're just everything's at 30 cal. So, just so we know. So the uh, hits are assigned there. So Jake, if you want to make some saves. Yeah, I'm gonna try and swap actually from that one to that one. Okay. So he gets bulletproof cover if successful, and it he is does. Hooray right for me. Okay. All right. So um, save right there. Ooh, good thing there's a firepower check coming. Right here. Six, I'll just do it real quick. No. Oh, if only it was a 50 cal. <laughs> uh, so he's just dead. Nice. And then this the one tank here. Commander. He's okay. And then the other tank hunter team is okay. okay. So they drop one more stand. Uh, recap, we didn't really do much. We just shot up that infantry platoon a lot, and that was about it. All right, on to German turn three. All right, so uh, last stand for this Panzer IV on a four plus. He keeps going. Okay. Unpinning here on a four plus. They do not. And unpin here. All right, so we're gonna try and blitz this Panzer IV. He does. Okay. Move him up. I'm trying to blitz these Pumas. They do not. And then. Aren't they not veteran? They are veterans, so that is a uh, all right, hooray for us. All right, so they'll move up four inches, and you know what? I'm gonna hold off on the tiger for now. All right, blitz for the AA. They do. All right, so to recap the German movement, uh, this platoon that was kind of battered, they actually their half tracks moved over here, and then they retreated back into them. The tiger moved up, and then. Over here, I've actually unloaded all these half-tracks plus the HQ. The Puma and the Panzer IV successfully passed their Stormtrooper, uh, and, or sorry, their Blitz move. So we're going to open up and see what happens. Okay. And over here? Oh, yeah. The uh, Cannon Platoon moved back from these scary paratroopers, and the AA guns have moved into a better position to open fire on those Stuarts. Sounds good. On to German shooting. All right, so the 88 firing into the Stuarts right here. 
Three shots, needing sixes, plus two for long range and concealment. Nothing. And then these two cannons are going to fire as well. Once again, sixes for long range and concealment. One hit, 18 9. I'm going to assign it to this guy right there, Jake. You need a six. No. Actually, so that's an equal because it's long range. Yep. For number four. Plus one is five. Plus to eight. And then. Yep. Five plus, plus one four. for range. Yeah. So it makes it 18 9. So just yep. a three plus to bail. It's bailed. So the AA guns are going to fire this one, uh, move this one didn't. So two shots coming from here and four from here into the Stuarts. Six in total, needing uh, just fives for short for concealment. So I have two AT5 hits. And I'm going to target this guy here and that guy there. To bail that one? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to go and so roll? Jake, go ahead and make saves. I think you have to target teams nope. that aren't bailed out. No. Nope. Okay. So, final one. All right, so save here. Five plus, okay. he's bailed. He's bailed. He's bailed. And to bail that guy. This guy is good. All right, Tiger taking a pot shot into the Shermans. Close range, but concealment. So needing fives. That's a miss. Oh. Moving down the line, the Panzer IV is going to take two shots into the Shermans. Needing a five for concealment. One hit. AT-11. Against front armor six. six. Who are you aiming at? Uh, this guy right here. All right. Uh, save. No. Three plus firepower. That's one Sherman down. So two shots from these tank hunter teams into the Stuarts with an eight inches. I moved, so it's a uh, fives and then sixes because of the concealment here. Nope. And then I'm gonna move on down the line. I've got two Pumas who successfully blitzed. So that's four shots in total into the Stuarts, needing fives for concealment. That's one hit on this gentleman, gentleman right here. AT. Nine. All right. Bounces. Bounce. All right, so we're going to repeat the Nebel for bombardment. Uh, so that's a two there, needing a four to hit. Yep. Got one hit, but it's two gunman battery, so I got to reroll successfuls. Nope, nothing. So to recap the German turn, I withdrew a little bit here, I'm continuing uh, to swing over here. I was able to kill one Sherman and bail out two Stuarts. So we'll see what the Americans can do. Right on to uh, USA turn three. So first up, Jake has to withdraw a platoon. Goodbye, Jeeps. <laughs> All right, so getting this Stuart back in, four plus, no, and the Stuart next to him gets back in. Okay, so recap, um, everything over here is staying put to shoot, and um, the infantry are the only things that moved forward. All right, so the Stuart is spotting um, right here. We're going to try to land the bombardment, um, so needing a four to range in. Yeah, three normally, four because the template's over terrain. Yeah, so first attempt, got it. You got it. Now what are you covering under there? We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, might be those two. That's all of them? Yeah. All the infantry. Except that one. That yeah. All right, uh, hitting this guy. All three four. or four, that's right. He's okay. All right, this guy, got him. Four. He's okay. This guy, nope. Yeah, don't count that. <laughs> this guy <laughs> hits him. He's okay. This guy, this guy, nope. Um, this one, nope. This one, nope. This one, <laughs> it was going to be a five, too. Nope. Okay, so pins them down, but no casualties, and then uh, I don't think you can hurt these guys. Yeah, it's uh, AT2. Yeah, you can. So. Top armor zero. So this guy, nope. This guy hits. So zero versus One. two. Well, possible, it's possible. Bail. Four up. Hey, nice. destroyed. Oh, it's top armor zero? Yeah. Oh, so it's destroyed. Wow. And then the Panzer four. you could possibly bail. Yeah, Panzer four. Yep. Uh, four up to hit. No. Missed him, and then two half tracks were under as well. Okay. This one hits him. 
Oh, firepower? No. no. I don't know. And this one. Hits him. It's okay. All right, uh, four shots from these two Stuarts into these guys, so needing fives to hit them. Four is base, plus one for terrain. Two hits. So one, two. For number one. Versus seven. Sixes. This guy. And the other firepower. one. Firepower. Nope. So bailed. The other one. Uh, firepower. Bailed. Two bailed half tricks. All right, so the Shermans are doing four shots into the Panzer IV and two shots into the Puma. So here are the four for the Panzer IV, needing fives. One hit, armor save. Six oh. versus ten. Firepower. Ten. Destroyed. Nice job. I killed a platoon. And then two shots into this guy. Also going fives. No. Nothing. Okay. All right, the four Stuarts are all shooting into the um, anti-aircraft guns. Um, so eight shots needing four. They're veteran, right? Yes. So fours. Just three hits. 87? Uh, yeah. So, so two on this it. one and one on... Okay. So firepower. Bailed. Two on that one. Okay. Uh, destroyed. And this one is destroyed. Oh, the Germans have lost two platoons. All right, um, this mortar is taking one shot into the 88. Needing a four. No. Goes off. All right, uh, two rifle MG shots into the 88. Nothing. All right, um, recap of shooting. We hit an artillery bombardment right here, uh, pinned everything, and we blew up a Puma. Um, the Shermans took out the last Panzer IV that was bugging them, and the Stuarts took out the anti-aircraft guns, and now we're going into assaults. And uh, Jake has assaulted. He managed to get two uh, paratrooper stands into base contact with this assault gun. So defensive fire, I have two AA machine guns here, and then I also have my 88, but that's going to be concealment through this wall right here. So I have the three on fives. Nope. Eight whiffs again. And then six on fours. One. All right. Good. Cool. Uh, and this guy, three up. Good. All right, you got two swings at three up, Jake. Oh. All right. Okay. That's so Around. sad. Counterattack. Which you can. You. So that team can move four inches into contact. Yes, let me think about this for a second. All right, so I passed my uh, morale test, so they're going to swing in. That's two veteran skill checks in close combat. One. Got one of them. One dead para. And Jake, you can counterattack on a three up because you were fearless. Nope. And Triple you ones. Have to break <laughs> off. The paratroopers have fallen back, and Jake has, or Jacob has consolidated his uh, half tracks. So get back in these bailed tanks, he does, he does not uh, unpin this infantry unit here. They do, but I have the commander right there to let them reroll, they still don't. And then unpin this unit here, I do not. And then finally, the morale for this puma, he sticks around. Alright, so we're going to bombard with the nebelwerfers here on this unit of paratroopers. So normally it's a three to range in for vet, but four because I'm shooting with terrain underneath. So four is to hit. Got it on the first attempt. Nice. That hits all those guys. So one, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> Needing a four plus for each one, I'll just roll two dice. I need two successfuls. So he's hit. That guy's not hit. That guy's not hit. Nope. And last. No. So just one save for One save. Two. Got it. It's okay, but they're pinned. They are. All right, so firing these uh, half tracks into these paratroopers, I've got six shots which are concealed by the short terrain, and I have three which are open because there's a three quarter of, it, of an inch gap, and he's not within any concealing terrain. So the three on fours, which I got none, and then the four on fives, 
which I got three. So one, two, and I don't think I can see anyone else because um, I'd be shooting through my own guys, so then two there. Try to swap from him to him. Got it. So two on him, so two, three ups. So he's dead. Is he touching that terrain? That was he touching the... Nobody knows. Did I that? Yeah. I don't think he was. I think okay. he was barely not. All right, and then this guy. Let's try that again. There we go. All right. Three shots from the 88s into the Stewarts. Uh, that's fours for veteran, fives for concealment, and sixes for long range. Nope. They whiff again. <laughs> <laughs> shot a lot. All right, so I'm going to do uh, two shots at close range into the Stewarts from that cannon, and then three shots into the uh, paratroopers. Three shots into the paratroopers on fours. It's two hits. So I go one there and one there. All right, this guy. He's good, and the guy over there is good. Okay. And then two shots into the Stuarts, just fives for concealment. One hit, and we'll put it on this guy right here. Then I'll nail that one. Okay. Close, range, close, uh, close range, they need a five. All right, I'm going to switch it to this guy down here. Three up. No. So one on him. Got five oh, hits. Two shots from the Pumas into the Stuarts. That orders. is fives. <laughs> One hit. 89 against this guy right here. Good. Bounce. And then uh, two shots from the Tiger into the Stuarts, meaning fives. Oh. Two hits. Gonna go right. here so and here. Do you want to try and swap? It's more than eight inches away. Oh, you're just doing two shots into them, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So two firepowers. That is two dead Stuarts. That was this one and this one. Shoot and scoot this tiger right here. I do. And I am going to shoot and scoot these mortars right here, the gun half tracks. They do. All right, so German wrap up. Uh, Pumas missed. The uh, tiger took out two Stuarts, which was excellent. These guys. Uh, got back in their half-tracks, and the half-tracks uh, swooped around to try and get close to the objective. Over here, I was able to kill, uh, I think, a paratrooper, and then um, I kind of consolidating my gains and seeing what I can do about that. So let's go to American turn. Yeah, USA turn five. All right, um, this guy needs a morale check, four up. He's good. Bail back in this tank. Um, it, it's a reroll with the commander, right? Mm -hmm. Within line of sight and six inches. So he's good. He doesn't even need it. And then to unpin these guys over here. Nope. All right, um, recap of movement. The Paris fell back. Um, we moved these stewards up. The steward moved over. And that's pretty much it. All right, um, these three Shermans are all shooting at these half tracks. So six shots. Meaning fives. And we'll aim at the middle one there. Just two. All right, so two Sherman hits. Um, this one first, three plus, destroyed. And the one next to him is destroyed. Nice. So the Panzer Shark team in this one is OK. And I'll get him out in a second. And then the other one, the Panzer, uh, or the Tank Hunter, is OK. And the MG team is off the table, is dead. Woohoo! All right, one shot from this Stuart at this guy, and he's in the open. You have to use your stabilizers. Hits. Oh, so it's I still a hit, hit anyway. Oh, so one hit. <clears throat> and it's seven versus front number two, I believe. One. one. Front number one. So you need a six to equal. Mm -hmm. nope. Firepower. Four up firepower. Destroyed. So Commander. Three saves for the three teams inside. MG. And the other MG. Good. So. All right, so these four Stuarts, um, two of them are shooting their main guns, and we're saving machine guns for these guys. So these two main guns are going into this guy in the open. Oh, you have to use stabilizers. Yep, so needing fives. One hit. Okay. On this one guy. Nope. And firepower. Bail. He's bailed out. 
All right, 10 machine gun shots from these two to these guys, needing fours, fives. Oh, good number of hits. Good roll. Six hits. Six. All right, so armor saves, two for this uh, Panzer Shrek team. He's dead. Two for this tank hunter team. He's okay. One for this MG team. He's okay. And one for the commander. He's okay. Nice. All right, so I'm trying to range in with my artillery right here. Um, so first attempt, it's going to be a four to range in. Uh, second attempt, he's got it on second. Okay, so under the template, we have three half tracks and these two guys. So starting with this one, needing a four, or no, needing a five, because the second attempt to range in. We hit him, he's good. Um, next half track, misses, next one, misses as well. And then this infantry team here, hits him, he's dead. And that infantry team there, misses. All right, shoot and scoot for these guys. They succeed. And the Shermans will shoot and scoot as well. Huh, got it. So a recap of my turn. Um, we just bombarded and blew up as much as we could over here, and that was about it. All right, so Germans, I'm gonna go ahead and start and bail back in first. So here I need a four plus, I do. And then um, trying to unpin the scene right here, need a four plus, I do. And then finally over here, unpinning this unit, the infantry inside, I do. All right, and then the unit last stands. So this uh, half track is by itself. So on a four plus, the half track runs. The commander is within six inches and line of sight. So I have to reroll, and he stays. And that is actually it for a unit last stands. The Puma. All right, sorry, for one more last stand with the Puma on a four plus. The commander's within six inches and line of sight. And he stays. All right, Stormtrooper for the Tiger. Or sorry, Blitz move. He does. All right, uh, the assault guns are going to shoot at these infantry. You got three shots here and three shots here. Needing fives. Two hits there. And one hit here. You can't swap them at all, so you want to take two armor saves there. Two saves here. And then one He's save. dead, and one save there. Also dead. All right, Tiger moved up. He's going to take a pot shot at the Sherman out in the open, just needing a four. It's a miss. Two shots from the active Puma onto the Stewarts, needing fives. Nothing. All right, uh, two tank hunter teams into this Sherman. Uh, this one moved, so he's going to be a sixes to hit. Ooh, and nice. this one is a fives to hit because he did not move. No, it's one hit. AT11 for armor six. Bam. Ooh, let's a bounce. All right, so recap. German turn. Um, the half tracks actually dumped out some more of their guys again, um, and then this Puma stuck around, popped off some shots, didn't do anything. The other half-track unit is swinging around to help reinforce over here. The tiger is making his presence known. And finally, the uh, assault guns are gunning down some retreating paratroopers. On All right, so we did a bombardment off screen, but he managed to bail out my mortar half-track, so bailing back in. And he does not. And then over here, I'm pinning this infantry, hopefully. Yay, they finally are worth something. <laughs> All right, the Stuart is uh, making a last stand roll again. And he's good. Okay, and Jake's pulling his half-track platoon uh, because he needs to withdraw one platoon. All right, so that is my movement phase. Um, we're ignoring the teams over there um, just for the sake of the game. They don't really matter at this point because we're so close to the end. Um, so I just moved them up and getting ready into assault range. Okay, so these Shermans, um, these two are shooting their main guns into this half track that's left. So four shots needing uh, fives. Uh, sixes. Oh, sixes. Because yeah. you have to use stabilizers. Oh, yeah, that's right. 
And then this uh, Sherman is shooting two shots into this unit. Um, he's in the open. Nothing. All right, this Stuart, um, Lonesome Stuart, he's just shooting two shots into this half track back here. Misses. All right, so these four are doing 20 machine gun shots into this unit here. And this one is going to shoot two main sh gun shots into here. So let's do his first. Two into there. Two for fives. Two, two hits. hits. 87, right? So you can assign one over there. Yeah. Okay. So one there, one there. 87. Yep. Possible destroy. And the other one, possible destroy. Uh, the first one is bailed. And the second one is bailed. All right, so 15 machine gun shots into these guys. We'll just use him as our focal point. Looking for fives. So you got three hits so far, and then and five more shots. And five more. Three more. <laughs> Six total. We'll sign those hits. Be right back. All right, so it's one shot on everyone. So save here. Good. Good. Good, good, oh gosh. <laughs> dead, and... Oh, that was good. That was one of the Panzer Shreks. Yeah. So one of the Still tank safe. hunter teams. All right, so these Stuarts are going to assault. So closest to closest. Up here. All right, so defensive fire. Uh, with eight inches, I'll have the Puma. And then really, this guy's the only one that matters. Sure. So one shot here, uh, I was pinned down. So it's fours base, fives for being pinned. Or sorry, uh, fives for concealment. And then um, another plus one for being pinned. So sixes, nope. Puma, just two shots for concealment on fives. Nothing. Uh, all right, Jake, you got a couple swings here. Two for this. Yep, two over there. Nothing. So <laughs> um, two right here. Two. You got two. And one right here. Got. Okay. So. One. All right. So that's two down, and then morale to come back. I do, and I will. So closest to closest. All right. You're hitting on three ups. Yep. So for this one right here, miss. For this one here, miss. And for this one here, hit. Uh, armor save. Good. All right, you counterattack Jake on a four plus. Four plus, and I get a reroll because of the company commander. No. Oh. So you have to break off six. Okay, so at the end of the American turn, the American player broke off. So Jake had to break off, unfortunately, leaving Jacob and his Germans in possession of the objective, meaning he's going to win at the start of his turn. However, that Panzer Grenadier platoon is going to need a test. Yep. Yeah. So if uh, the test is failed, the Americans are going to win. If the test wins or test passes, the Germans win. And I, I do have my com company commander right there. So all right, it's a four, four plus. No, he's oh, that's him. yeah, that's him. Uh, four good. plus. Oh, they, they stick around. So that's game for the Germans. Good game, guys. Well, there you have it, guys. That was I think it's seven uh, two victory for the Germans. Uh, congratulations, Jacob, on your, your hard-fought victory. Thanks. Uh, so Jake, how do you think? No, Jacob, how do you think <laughs> the battle went? Uh, good. You know, I think the minefield placement really forced me to take the long way around. Um, it was close in the end, and I'm still getting used to the fourth edition. So this is actually my first late war game, um, and so I'm still trying to figure out like how things work in relation to uh, you know the old rules I have in my mind. Jake put up a good fight. He fed things in at the end. His kind of aggressive charge was probably his downfall, but uh, I mean, it was a fun game. Yeah. So, how do you think you did? Yeah, I failed a lot of morale. I realized <laughs> looking at all of it, I think I failed every morale check except for my one steward by himself. Um, but other than that, um, it was a fun game. I enjoyed it. I realized at the very end when we were done that all I had to do was not charge, and I could have just fed a tank into the objective and won the game. So. Yeah, I remember it could have been, but your the odds, your last attack there where you had 25 machine gun shots, 
Yeah, I hit six times, needing five. <laughs> <laughs> plus the Shermans, plus the other steward. And, and Jake rolled at his infantry saves were amazingly good after bombarding them and machine gunning them over and over again. He's infantry lots, lots really of practice. <laughs> <laughs> but if you had a little bit more luck, took out that uh, company commander in that assault, uh, it could have been an entirely different game. Yeah. yeah. All right, so there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this Normandy-themed Battle of Flames of War version 4. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed, let us know. Please subscribe to the channel. Uh, give us a like, a comment. Also, we're on Facebook, so check us out at All Miniatures Great and Small on Facebook. We appreciate it if you like us over there. Thanks for watching, and keep on working.